Before you begin, you'll need to turn your power off at the circuit breaker. Confirm the power is off by flipping the switch you're going to replace on and off. Typically, you'll need a Phillips head screwdriver, a pair of pliers, and a piece of electrical tape to do the job. First, unscrew your existing switch from the wall. On a standard three-way switch, you should have three wires connected to the switch plus a ground wire. Make sure that you have a neutral wire connection in the wall. Most newer, mid-80s on homes have neutrals in each wall box, which are usually white wires in the back of the box. Before disconnecting your old switch, look at the screw colors on the sides of the switch. Use a piece of electrical tape to tag the wire connected to the screw that is a different color than the remaining two. Knowing which wire this is will be important when installing your new dimmer. Now you can remove the existing switch. In this video, we're using a Vive dimmer. However, these instructions apply to all other products that have these same color wires. Use a wire cap to connect the ground to the green wire on your new control. If you do not have a ground wire in this wall box, simply place a cap on the green wire on the dimmer. Connect the tag wire to the black screw on the new control Connect the other two wires you removed from the switch to the brass and blue screws. It's important to know the color of the wire you connected to the blue screw, so choose a color different than the other two wires. For example, here we are choosing the red wire. Finally, connect one end of the white wire that was included with your control to the neutral wires in your wall box. Connect the other end to the silver screw on your control. Before turning the power back on, Remove the next switch from the wall.
use a piece of electrical tape to tag the wire connected to the different colored screw, similar to the first location. Remove the existing switch. Use a wire cap to connect the ground to the green wire on your companion control. If you do not have a ground wire in this wall box, simply place a cap on the green wire on the control. Connect the tag wire to the black screw terminal on the companion control. Identify the wire that you connected to the blue wire in the first location. Connect this to the blue screw on the companion control. Remember that we used the red wire to connect blue screw. Connect the remaining wire to the brass screw. If this is a four-way location, you should have two wires that are the same color as the wire connected to the blue screw in the original location. Connect both of these wires to the companion control. Wrap one wire around the blue screw and insert the other into the back of the dimmer next to the blue screw. Connect the remaining two wires to the black and brass screws. These wires are interchangeable here, so it doesn't matter which wire is connected to which screw. Screw all controls back into the wall and add the wall plates.